Hi, everyone. I'm here today to talk about the book Stepping Stones. This is a book by Lucy Knisley. Can I see her? She's welcome to watch my video and tell me how to pronounce her name. Um, so the story is the main character of this book is Jenna, Jen. And um, her parents got divorced. And Jen had been living with her parents in New York City, like one of the biggest cities in the world. And after the divorce, her mom decides to take Jen and move out to the country. She's always wanted to like work on a farm. So that is a very different lifestyle for Jen. And at the very beginning, she lets us know her feelings about this. She says that things I miss about the city, Chinese food, my old apartment, comic book stores, my dad. Things I hate about the farm include chores. She has to do a lot of chores before school and after school. The mean goose, mom's new BF, that's her boyfriend, and sunburns. So she's not very happy out there. And the new boyfriend, um, yeah, I don't really like him much either, to be honest. He just doesn't, he's not very considerate of anybody else's feelings. He's not a bad guy. You know, he's not like abusive or anything like that, but he's just not considerate of other people's feelings. For example, Jen wants to be called Jen and he keeps calling her Jenny. And then when she says, reminds him that she prefers to be called Jen, he just gets really arrogant um, and snippy about it. His daughter, he has two daughters and they come on the weekends. And you can just tell by looking at the older daughter that she's kind of taken on some of her dad's um, snootiness. She thinks that she's smarter than Jen. She thinks that she can be more creative Jen. She has better ideas than Jen. So they don't get along very well at first. Um, so as the story goes on, you can see you really sympathize with Jen and you almost wanted to cry at some points, just, you know, because her feelings are kind of being pushed aside. But like a lot of struggles, things have a tendency of working their way out. So by the end, she comes up with a new list and I don't wanna give anything away there about um, things that are okay about living in the country. I really thought this was a made up story, but at the uh, very end in the author's note, she shares that this is kind of based on her own childhood. And so she has pictures of the farm, the farmer's market where they um, would sell food, their food on the weekends. There's a picture of her with a stepsister and a frog, which was part of the story. Again, I don't want to give anything away. Another picture of them there. And then she just also talks about how their relationships evolved over time, you know, after the story ends. Um, so I really thought it was a Good book. I read it in just a few hours because it is a graphic novel, so it makes it easier to read it faster. But it was also just a compelling story, too. Um, and I think that you'll identify a lot with the way Jen feels with her struggles.